Praise the Lord. So glad you tuned into a great God. Have a wonderful program for you today. You know, uh, you can get your Bibles and pads. You know, but most of all, you know, we're going to go into the book of uh, Ephesians. We're going to go in uh, with a mind to think about songs. You know, when we come into the church, we always uh, well, most churches always open their services with a song or a hymn, you know, or spiritual songs. And, and that ushers in the spirit of God uh, most of the time, and depending on the atmosphere, praise God. How, because he said, into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. But life has so burden people down so much until they, they, they carry the weight around with them. They don't know how to shake it off. But when they come into the church, they supposed to leave it there. And the songs and the, 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 the hymns, they kind of help. Well, I'll be coming through. Well, you can, I know I told you to get your Bible pad, you know, but you can get a pad in case you want to write something down. Today I'll be coming to you from Ephesians, the fifth chapter, the 19th verse. And I also would like to introduce my CD called Faith Ever Increasing by Barbara A.G. Mayo. It's a, a CD which is very encouraging and it gives hope and is bent on in, a life. And if you want to uh, bless your spirit and you know, if you want to add it to your playlist, like you're walking down the street, the words mean much. The music mean much, and it will encourage. Well, today, Ephesians 5.19 says, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. And the thought today would be, Listening, words, and melody, that all makes up a song. You know, listening to it over and over as you're getting it together, the words are coming as you're writing them down, and if you're, if you're spiritual and the Lord has given it to you, or you're gifted or blessed and you're being given words from the, you know, the spirit, and the melody carries everything together. Now, I kind of like broke it down. What is a song? What is the purpose of a song? Well, I'm going to dissect the meaning of the word song or what type of song we should put in our spirit. The dictionary states a song is a musical piece adopted for singing or stimulating a piece to be sung. To be sung means to perform a song or voice competition, composition. That's what a song means. The Bible tells us to encourage ourselves with psalms, P-S-A-L-M-S, hymns, H-Y-M-N-S, and spiritual songs. Now, the difference is a psalm, which is P-S-A-L-M, is a sacred song or hymn or any of the songs, hymns or prayers contained in the Bible of psalm. Yeah. These, and, and we've seen this because David himself wrote songs unto the Lord. And not just David, many uh, authors have written songs unto the Lord where they bless the Lord. Um, and it was encouraged to them through the Spirit of God. You know, it's songs that mean something, that takes the weight off of you. The, song, the songs that let God know that you, 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 you love him for who he is. 
and for the things that he's done in our lives. Psalms that let us, you know, that we can uh, uh, get on our knees or we can go in our secret closet and sing unto the Lord. And not everybody can sing. Not everybody got a voice to sing. But God hears it in such a sweet savor unto him. And hymns, this is the difference. Hymns are a song or ode, which means a lyrics poem, typically of elaborate or irregular metronal form and expressive of exalted or enthusiastic motion in praises or honor of God, a deity, a nation, etc., which not necessarily coming from the book of songs. See, it doesn't have to come from the Bible, but it's coming from poems that men has written or women have written from the depths of their spirit. They could have been inside a, 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 a solitude a, a space in their lives and they want to minister to God or they want to write down what they're feeling at that particular time. And it, when they write it down, after a while they find that this seems like a poem. So that means that the hymn didn't come out of the word of God, but it came out of us. Praise God. So when we deal with hymns, um, like you got the Baptist hymn book, and you can go into the Baptist hymn book, and you can find even little scriptures in, within them songs that has come out of someone's heart to put on there, I really love the Lord, and, you know, I love you, I love you, I love you, Lord, today. In the Word of God, it lets us know that we love the Lord. That, that's a hymn, uh, a hymn that came out of someone's heart, or something like um, Pastor Donnie McCarkland has written, or, uh, or what uh, Pastor Marvin Sapp has written, you know, hymns. Hymns, or, or, or listen, hymns play a, a good part as well as the Psalms, you know, play a, a, a really good part of ministry. All this is ministry, praise God. Now, the Bible goes on to tell us that we should also encourage ourselves with spiritual songs. And um, what are spiritual songs? These are songs relating to the spirit or the soul as distinguished from the physical nature, a spiritual approach to life through lyrics and music. Well, we have, a, you know, we are spiritual beings. And we approach life in a spiritual way, most of us. And then after you have, you know, broken down what you felt spiritually, then you bring it into the world naturally. So. Spiritual songs, praise God, encourages us. It helps us to increase our faith, you know, in, in God through Christ. Spiritual songs wakes us up to the fact that we have hope even before the grave. It, 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 spiritual songs let us know that we can cry unto the Lord and he'll hear us and he can heal us. And let us know that through the Spirit, God moves in a special way. You know, spiritual, when you, you hear a spiritual song that, that says he healed me, you know, I cried unto the Lord and he healed me. It, it let us know that that song got deep into our spirit and God, through his grace and mercy, he, 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 he showered on us the blessing of healing. Well, many people write songs for many reasons. I wrote Faith Ever Increasing uh, according to the ministry of helping people to overcome and to encourage them that they can overcome every obstacle in their life. For if a great God allowed them to go through something, don't you know he'll, allow, he'll, he'll bring you right through it? You may not understand what he's doing or how he's doing it, but the end results will be a positive result for you. So 
These songs and hymns and spiritual songs, God knew what we needed. He knows even now what we need because the world is getting, or people in the world are getting so heartless. We're going to need these songs to encourage our faith, praise God. Like this, the, the hymn says, by faith look up to thee, O Lamb of Calvary. You know, this, this is where our faith is supposed to, to be focused on. Now, the word of God is right, and God keeps his word. And once you recognize and praise God for bringing you through a situation or whatever is happening to you or your family member, you know, or your friends, uh, uh, and he's allowing you to go through this, and, and you still got your right mind. You know how many saints are sitting up in the hospital that lost their mind? But God was merciful, and he allowed you uh, to be sound-minded. For he say your mind is stayed, he'll keep you in perfect peace. If, if your mind is stayed on him, He'll keep you in perfect peace. And I know every, every walk in life, you're not going to constantly have your mind on Christ, but you're going to know where your help come from. So when the situations arise, you know who to cry unto. You know, like the 61st Psalm, I cried unto the Lord and he, he healed me. He heard me and delivered me from all, all my sins, all of my uh, 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 sickness, all of my diseases, all of my uh, 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 mental problems. He healed me. Healing goes many ways, praise God. Not just in your body, but in your spiritual life, healing comes. And we thank God for that. God allows us to cope with many things through the Spirit that he has given us, the new spirit, where he said, be not conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewing of your mind. And then he goes back to Ephesians, praise God, the, you know, uh, 519, where he says, praise God, speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. He's, he's given us comfort as we walk through this world. The CD faith ever increasing will encourage you to see God through Jesus Christ and to know there's always a way out of every situation. For 2 Corinthians uh, 4 and 8, 8 to 11, you can turn to it. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 to 11 says, we are troubled on every side, yet not in distress. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. And listen, we may even be cast down, but we're not destroyed. Why? Always bearing about in our bodies, praise God, the dying of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifested within us. He lives in us today. And we may not understand how, but when you get in your word, you will understand why and how he lives with us today. You know, when the baby is born, you got to take God's spirit. You got to take in the breath of life that God gives. Uh-huh. So we bearing the fact that Christ died for us, gave us the hope that we know that we can live to live again, not just live to die, but we can enjoy abundant life here. And after we live, we still going to live to live again. We never die because we're going to be in, in the presence of the one who created the world, who spoke a world into existence, who made man from the dust of the ground and brewed the breath of life in him, who took the rib out of man and made a woman, you know. So we're going to be there, praise God. And the trials and tribulations are going to come. But we have to remember that there's no temptation taking you. Such as common to man, God is faithful. 
will not have you tempted above ye are able, but with that temptation, he'll make a way, he'll, 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 he'll make a way to escape and that you may be able to bear it. So you see, faith ever increasing is a CD, praise God, that not only encourages through music, but through the words that the Lord has anointed me or blessed me to share with you. Praise God that you will share with others, giving them hope in this world. This CD, praise God, has many songs which, oh my God, even the titles, such as, praise God, um, Because He Can. Because He Can was written because God can do anything but fail. Because He Can let us know that whatever we ask, God can do it. There's nothing that is in this earth that God can't do. And because of that, being under his umbrella or being in his adoption of children through Jesus Christ, then he automatically loves, he's a father that loves his children because he can. You know, if we get ourselves in situations where we're hard-headed, he can bring us out. Why? Because he can. You know, uh, you might want to just, you know, add it to your, 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 your playlist because it, it, it encourages you even to know that he can, praise God. And the song, Faith Ever Increasing, I don't know if you've ever been there. I wrote it in a low place, praise God, because my faith seemed like it was uh, dwindling because of the uh, atmosphere or the situations around me within the church. You know, you, you, when you go to church, you think everybody is saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost or living a righteous life, but it's not like that. Some are growing into it. They're learning through salvation. They have accepted, but they haven't let go of everything. Uh, they haven't walked up right, you know, because they're not, they refuse to let go some things that they felt got them over in life. Well, when you come into Christ, it's a new, new life that's happening. You become a new creature, any man, hallelujah, hallelujah, except Christ, he become a new creature, and all old things are passed away, and behold, all things are new. So faith that increasing increased my faith and helped me to push on and be strong, praise God, knowing that, hallelujah, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. And being in the midst of the turmoil that's in the churches today, I can stand and having them all to stand through faith. Hallelujah. Increasing my faith. Praise God. I'm able to stand. Hallelujah. And help somebody else to stand. So God, the, the Lord, word of God has really been a blessing to me as he's given me even the strength to know that when you lose a long, a loved one, as I lost my mom, well, I didn't lose her. She went to heaven with the Lord. She transitioned and went with the Lord, but she was a blessing in the kingdom of God. Her name was Mother Susie Golson of Soul Saving Station. And my mother, praise God, was uh, lived this life in front of us. She taught us how to be holy. She taught us to read the word. She taught us to pray. She taught us, hallelujah, how to do things which is going to be uh, uh, our benefit, benefiting us in life, praise God. So I wrote strong in faith because she had uh, some children, praise God, and uh, you know how mothers are with boys, and praise God, they, uh, you know, they went the other way. They didn't want to uh, follow the mind of Christ. Uh, they got in the street and, and the world grabbed them. But mom prayed for them. My mother prayed and she fasted for them. And, you know, the Bible said when they are old, you know, they won't depart. He said train a child up in the way they will go. And when they get older, they won't depart. And this is the thing. So we thank God that through her prayers, we can see God working. You know, one song cry, that don't mean you're always going to be on it. 
But if you give God a chance, God will deliver you. I had a, have a son, praise God, and God delivered him from crack. You know, so once on crack, not always on crack. The devil wants you to think that, but that's not so. He's been working over 18 years now. Have a nice family, you know. Him, through prayer, fasting, turning your plate down, God will move for you. Listen, I'm going to say that again. Through prayer, fasting, turning your plate down, God will move. And not being an enabler. Praise God. Not being an enabler. I had to say that because our mothers, our heart goes out for our children. And, and they, they, we feel sorry for them and we take them and think we can help them and this and that. But God has to help them. You got to turn them loose and let God help them. And through prayer, fasting, and reading your word, you will turn that child's mind around. Also wrote, a song on faith ever increasing called the birth of Christ. You know, the birth of Christ is the whole meaning that we live, the whole reason that we're striving to live a holy life is because of the birth of Christ. He was born to die. He was born to take our sins to the cross. He was born, what greater gift that a man can give for a nation, for a world, is to lay down his life. That he gave us hope. He gave us uh, uh, the desire to know him the more. And he's crying out. His spirit is crying out that we come unto him. Because that's the only way we can truly make it through this world. So many people are taking alcohol and drugs to cover up what they're feeling. And then when the drug wear off or the alcohol wear off, they back in the same situation that they were in when they started taking it. So if you want to know how to get out of it, Christ is the answer. Not only being back in the same situation, but now you're in a worse situation because your body wasn't made to take all these alcohols and all these drugs. Your body wasn't made to do that. The Bible say, no, you're not. You're the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in you. So every time you feast on alcohol or drink and smoke, don't you know it's tearing down your body? So you got to be careful. Faith ever increasing is a CD that is, will bless and, and, and encourage you. Praise God. Because to everything, there's a season. And that's the last song I'm going to mention to you. Uh, that everything's a season. A time to every person, every, uh, every, there's a season, time to every purpose under the heaven. So you know your purpose? Well, if I, I implore you. Reach out. You, you can check it out. Faith Ever Increasing by Barbara A.G. Mayo on Spotify, Amazon, iTunes. You might want to add it to your playlist, you know, because, you know, some of us, we, we run in the morning. We can put our music on and music will, this, this CD will encourage you. It will bless you as you're running, you know, um, and Listen, tell others about it because it's a CD that will enlighten, encourage, and bring you into increasing your faith. Because faith ever increasing, this is something that we must do every day. Something that we must, you know, uh, 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 attach to our lives every day. We have to increase our faith because many things happen. And while these things are happening, it, it's actually trying to destroy what we have built up in Christ. Don't let the enemy fool you. He has no place in your life, but you enjoy the Lord through psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. And I guarantee you, 
Look up Faith Ever Increasing by Barbara A.G. Mayo. There's many songs on there that is encouraging that the Lord has blessed me to bless you all with. You know, some come from the Word of God, some comes from when he, he wakes me up at night or whatever. God just, it, the Spirit of God is awesome. We go through many trials and tribulations, but listen, God said there's a way out. Encourage yourself while you're going through. You're going to go through ups and downs, but encourage yourself while you're going through, and you'll be blessed. Well, you know, I come on every Saturday at 3.30, Channel 70, BronxNet TV. Well, uh, you know, tell somebody else. I also come on in Manhattan, praise God, Channel 3, every Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Tell somebody that's homebound that God still is increasing our faith. So I implore you, seek out the, the, the CD. You will be blessed. Remember, Spotify, you can stream it, add it to you. Not, not many people are purchasing, but they can go on and stream it from Spotify and others. You know, it's a good CD that God has blessed me to bless you with. Praise God. And I also implore you, get in the Word and stay there. Because even the Word has songs and hymns that the Lord can bring to your mind. And you can put them on paper. He uses anybody that's willing. That's willing. So faith ever increasing? CD, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Why do faith ever increasing a CD of encouragement and joy? God bless you. May heaven smile upon you and may he speak peace to your spirit. And remember, you can go on Facebook also and check me out. God bless you.